Hello everyone and welcome to another update video on The Sims 4. So we have some new news with The Sims 4 City Living that I want to mention and that I want to talk about to let you all know if you guys don't know yet. First things first, I want to go through the trailer that they released some time ago on the apartments and I'm not gonna play the entire trailer but you guys can go check it out. I'm gonna post links to everything in the description but one thing that I noticed during the trailer is that first things first, kids can play basketball and I hope that it is a skill and that they can develop that skill early and I'm actually really happy about that because I was hoping for it and it is true and I I'm really happy about that. Another thing with the street art is that you can actually paint murals or do ground paintings just like we could do on The Sims 3. Another thing that they mentioned while the trailer is that the apartments have a mood to them. So there are apartments that are good for families and for kids because if the kids go to there they can actually get good grades. There are apartments that are more flirty and there are more apartments that are for party and there you can party and just meet new people, hang out and do all that some stuff. We also have the art studios which I'm pretty excited about that because being artistic myself I would love to create a sim that is also artistic so I'm definitely gonna be I'm I'm really excited for that another thing that I noticed in the trailer is that departments have certain issues depending on the price that you actually got the apartment for there are some apartments that are kind of the steal but once you get them you'll start to notice that they were cheap because they're not that good so we're gonna have plumbing issues, we're gonna have critters walking around, which, oh my gosh, no! <laughs> I don't want cockroaches, and I know they come in this expansion pack, but not cockroaches! To repair these issues, we need to call landlord, then he's gonna fix everything, or we can use our repairing skill to actually repair those issues by ourselves. Another thing that they talk about is the fast internet connection. How some apartments have good internet connection, others might not have some good internet connection, which is pretty interesting. And we also have a new career. I actually, in the last update video that I did, Howdy Simmer actually shared a link to a post which includes every single thing that is gonna be added on this expansion pack that Kai noticed and that sim creators actually revealed. So, again, really interesting. I really, I learned more about things that they're gonna add and it was a very interesting article. I really recommend you guys go check it out. Again, the links are gonna be in the description. But it does talk about social media being a new career. Now, this is gonna be interesting. It reminds me of Sims University when we had the option, we had this, the smartphones and we could do blogs and we could improve our social networking skill. I think that's what that was the name of it but I'm interested to see what this is gonna be all about and of course if your sim has a good place with good internet then this is gonna be great for that career. Another thing that they talk about on the trailer is that we can actually give other sims the key to our apartment and they can come up anytime they want and bother us or entertain us and do all sorts of stuff so that's actually pretty interesting it's new i never seen that before we also have a new gaming system that we did not have in the game before so that's gonna be fun for parties for hanging out with our friends that we might give the key to our apartment of and i'm interested to see how that's gonna be like now the other thing that i want to talk about is that today uh some sim gurus actually took their days to reply to questions that we have and this has been going on for a while from what I've noticed. I'm currently on Sims Community website and they shared the tweets over here so that's how I'm gonna be checking this out and a few things were mentioned. First, penthouses can actually be turned into venues so we can have a restaurant on a rooftop and open any sort of business that we want up there and that's gonna be pretty interesting to see. On this Senmai Shuno town we actually not only have apartments, we also have lots that we can build normal houses on. 
Uh, on total we have 30 lots, counting with the apartments, which is pretty big. On the live stream that they did, they actually shared a photo of the town and there are new different icons which are so interesting to see. We have one with the high heel, another one with the little pepper and again, I don't know what those could be, maybe they mean the festivals? But still, pretty interesting. We have more than one penthouse lot in the town. Apartments can have in a total three whole stories. And even though we can see the clothes lying on the ground, we do not have washing machines or any sort of thing in the game, but we can use them as decor. Penthouses can have pools, but they cannot have basements because that doesn't make that much sense. We can take houses from the gallery and we can put them up in the penthouse. All of the apartments are lots that we can visit, so the whole apartment is gonna have a ton of rooms in there that we can actually go and visit our friends or neighbors or whatever. The singing skill is actually a skill of 10 levels, not just 5. And this got me super excited because the same guru, JM, actually said that originally they had it set at 5, but having 10 made more sense with how much content can be unlocked, which is interesting because I'm actually really, really excited for that skill and what it's gonna do in game. So the fact that we have 10 levels of that skill, it makes it much more exciting. They also mentioned a new aspiration that we're gonna have with this expansion pack, which is the city native, which focus on our sims exploring the city and meeting new people there. And we also have two more traits that they announced, which is the unflirty and the vegetarian traits. And last, the last thing that they actually announced is that we're gonna have earthquakes and when that happens, the world starts shaking, our sims start reacting and we get a mullet depending on how strong the earthquake was. Another thing that I want to talk about is that they announced a new death with this expansion pack, which is eating poorly made puffer fish nigiri can cause a slight cause of death. And this is a new dish that we have. And again, we're gonna have the vegetarian traits, so we're gonna have vegetarian sims again in the game. And I don't know what this dish can be but if we cook it badly and we eat it we can die and that's pretty scary <laughs> again a puffer fish isn't something that you are supposed to eat but i mean you just need to cook it out well if you don't cook it well you are doomed now the last thing that i want to talk about is the lot traits which is something that they talked about on the trailer for the apartments and the Sims community made an entire post about this. So, from what I'm getting, apartments are gonna have these traits. And if you move to them, of course, things are gonna go easy depending on the trait that you have. So, there, we're gonna have apartments that need TLC, uh, which is a great place to practice your any skill. We also have the Chef's Kitchen, the Quake Zone, Good Schools, Mean Vibe, Home Studio, Sunny Aspect, Cursed, Groody, Gremlins, Penny Pixies, Party Place, Filthy, Haunted, Romantic Aura, Great Soil, Child's Play, Homey, Fast Internet, Great Acoustics, On Lay Line, Science Lair, Convivial, Natural Light, Gnomes, Bracing Breezes, and Private Dueling, which is super cool let me just start by that and it's gonna be interesting because now if i do a let's play on this i feel like i'm gonna have to play with different families because i'm gonna want to want to be more artistic and i'm gonna want to want to be more social and i'm gonna want to live on these areas but then again i guess it's something that we can upgrade we can start in a really bad place and then move up in life so yeah, but there are some that I really, really want to explore, but we'll see. I'm super excited about this expansion pack. You guys let me know how you feel so far, if you are up for it, or if you're still not convinced and you still want some other things in the game that they are really not giving it to us. So yeah, I'm gonna end the video on this note. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and until the next one, bye guys!